And I look down and realise the tea towel was on fire. Oh shit, almost dropped my nuke. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. I just need to put this down before I break something. to Vlognook day 12. I have been rejigging my priorities a little bit in terms of how I'm filming and releasing things. I think I am going to be not strictly daily vlogging as in putting a video out every day because the middle of the week it's very hard to do that. I'm going to aim to try and get something out on the weekends each time, like each day but it might end up being combined depending on how life falls. So I am documenting each day, but not every video will be a vlog necessarily. And not every, there might not be a video every day, but every day will get covered at some point with something. So yeah, I hope you've been enjoying the journey so far. Today is a Friday, which means I do a half day at work, I've just finished, and I'm about to go get all of my stuff and get ready for rehearsal and then head into rehearsal. And that'll take up most of the afternoon and evening and then I'll get home and do whatever. So yeah, let's get going. So um, I thought I could smell something burning and then I look down and realize the tea towel was on fire. Whoops! <laughs> Didn't set off the smoke alarm yet, but I just burned, <laughs> just burned the tea towel. <laughs> At least I put it out quickly. It's fine. The house is not on fire. Whoops. The, the aftermath. This is the aftermath of doing rehearsal. <laughs> eh. what, All of the script is on the just... Oh yeah, no look, the chaos has spread to the guild. Normally, oh shit, almost dropped my nuke. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. I just need to put this down before I break something. Um, yeah, my life is spreading. <laughs> Da, da, da. Oh. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm putting it away and trying not to damage it. There we go. Woo! Now I don't feel like mess. What mess? <laughs> well, that day has flown. But been very good. We got through the last third of the show that we were working on, which was very, very productive. I sat on my glasses. I don't think I broke them. I think I just bent them out of shape and I managed to bend them back. I didn't actually take any footage of when I did it. They look okay, but they feel a little bit ill-adjusted to my face now, so I'll see how I go adjusting them myself, and if I'm having trouble, I might call up my optometrist and be like, can you help me um, to bend these back into shape? Literally, the top part bent when I sat on them. And it's so stupid. I put them down on a milk crate, and I thought, I should move those. I'm going to forget they're there. They blend into the crate, and I'll sit down on the crate later and completely smash my glasses. What did I do? I did not move them. And then later, I sat down on the crate and sat on my glasses. Luckily, I didn't go full weight. I felt them there and sat up. And I was just like, oh, fuck. But they weren't broken. The lenses had popped out at the top. And, like, this top part of the lens bent back. And I was just like... That looks bad. What have I done? It was worse on this side than it was on the other side, but yeah. 
I was coping fine last year when I wasn't wearing them all the time because as soon as I wasn't wearing them, they went back in the case. Now that I'm wearing them all the time, which I think I was supposed to be last year, but I just forgot. I keep dropping them, I put them down, I'm just like, I'll just pop them down, I'll put them back on, and the damage, the damage is starting to occur, but yes. Yay! See, you can see they're a little wonky now, because my face is a bit wonky, and I bent them out of shape. Anyway, time to head home and do something for the evening, but that was rehearsal done, and it was good, it was very good. about eight o'clock already the day feels like it's flown and I think that's partially because I worked until lunchtime and then it feels like just a regular day off started and I'm only like halfway through the regular day off my brain is still comprehending the idea of time I don't know if it will ever quite get it I didn't lock anything in for this evening because I wasn't sure how I would feel by the time I got to this point in terms of what I would want to work on tonight and I'm kind of glad I didn't commit to anything because now that I'm here I've just been sort of chilling for the last couple of hours since I got home made a nice cup of tea and yeah I don't I was considering trying to write some pirate story tonight but I think I'm a bit tapped out in terms of creative stuff tonight I spent three hours at rehearsal working on my show and we were doing like the really sort of in-depth last last act I guess you'd call it going over all of the lines and the songs and stuff and it's just a lot of creative brain work and I think I just want to have the evening off. I think I've gotten a lot done today. I often struggle with object permanence and just forgetting everything that I've done or need to do or that isn't right in front of me which is not great but it does mean that it's usually a fairly reliable concept that I've gotten a lot more done on a day than I can really remember. I'm curious to know whether you guys following along are like interested to know more. How fuck I'm burning myself. Interested to know more about like the shows that I'm working on because that's something I could potentially talk about tomorrow. Because, yeah, so I'm doing two shows. I know I've mentioned that a couple of times, but I haven't really gone into details about what they are. One of them is my show, which anyone who's followed my Instagram or has been around for a while will have heard quite a lot about. And then the other one I'm actually the lighting designer for. So I'm not in the show. I'm not involved in writing or anything. I've only come on board in the last month or so and been going to production meetings and... Yeah, doing the lighting design. So I used to do a lot of lighting design before the pandemic. I did my honours year in lighting design. I've talked about it a little bit in regard to how it impacts my writing, like how it influences it and things like that. But I actually haven't been able to vlog myself doing a design for anything. I was meant to do some stuff early 2020 and then, well, we all know what happened. All of the theatres were closed, and I haven't been able to document any of it. But I'm really curious whether that's something people are interested in in seeing more of that of the and hearing me talk more about the show stuff as well, because 
I'm finding there's not much I can talk about on the book when I'm not working on it full time, even though it's NaNoWriMo. So uh, maybe on show days I can talk about show stuff, and then on days when I get writing done I can talk about writing stuff. But yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna sign off for the evening. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little, I guess, cabaret rehearsal day vlog. I will be back soon with another one and let me know, let me know in the comments if this is something you want to see some more of and hear some more chat about because I can talk for fucking ages about all of this and even when my voice is running out, it's really fun. So yeah, this has been a lovely day. Hope you've enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.